Welcome to Yoga Okai. Today I'm going to be talking about three things that I've learned from my yoga practice. So let's get started. The first thing I've learned from my yoga practice is acceptance, and especially self-acceptance. This has been something that really brings me back to my yoga practice because I can always meet myself on the mat and I really learned not to have too much judgment about where my postures are, how my flexibility is, or my strength. And always just meeting the person on the mat that day, uh, no matter who it is. So self-acceptance is definitely one of the biggest things I've learned from my yoga practice. And the reason I love this lesson from yoga is because it has so many emotional benefits for me about, you know, boosting my self-esteem and not comparing myself to others and even not comparing myself to who I was the day before and who I'll be tomorrow. So that's why I like to say, meet yourself on the mat. The second thing I've learned from yoga goes along with the first one, and it's humility. And the reason that yoga has taught me humility is because I've come to realize that I might not be able to do some postures in my yoga practice. And I might not be able to do them today, but I certainly may be able to do them in the future, but if I keep working on them. But there's even other postures that I'm pretty certain that I will never be able to accomplish in this lifetime. And I've come to accept that. Like I said, it relates to the first lesson I've learned. Another thing about humility is um, if there's a posture I come to and I'm not able to do it, I don't really get stuck on it. I just learn to um, realize that I'm not able to do it right now and that's okay. Um, one, one way that I learned humility was with full lotus. So that's that seated posture you normally see where your legs kind of look like a pretzel. And I, for some reason, I just associated a full lotus posture with being a successful yogi. And so I would practice yoga and I would really just pull my legs into that full lotus position. Um, and I realized, one, I injured my knees because I was being prideful. I was like, I just have to be able to do this. I tried to force my way into it. And so that was unwise. Um, but two, I really learned that there is no posture or there's no, you know, end point or goal that will determine whether or not you're successful at yoga. It's all about learning how to breathe and move with your body. And if you're breathing, if you're moving, and if you feel good, and especially if you can learn to accept where you're at, I think that's a successful yogi and it has nothing to do with what you look like or what you're able to do physically. The third and final thing I've learned from yoga, and it's a lesson that I really appreciate, is learning how to slow down. And not only how to slow down, but really the importance of slowing down. Uh, when I started my yoga practice, I started to consider it my me time, so time that I took for myself. And I realized how important this was because so many times we go throughout our lives a million miles a minute, we go from one activity to the, to the next um, without even catching our breath. And I've found that my time I spend on my yoga mat is when I can catch my breath and when I can hit the brakes during the day and really just take time to breathe and take time to self-reflect and to even meditate. So for a lot of people, their yoga practice is a spiritual experience or, you know, emotionally enlightening. And I've definitely experienced that. So learning how to slow down and learning the importance of slowing down has been a huge lesson for me that I learned from my yoga practice. Thank you so much for listening in from my mat to yours. Namaste. I'd love to know in the comments below what you've learned from your yoga practice or what brings you back to your mat. So comment below and I'll see you next time.